tripwire. How does that made? I want to know how to make the tripwire hook. I guess we'll find out. Um, I wanted to make some other things here. We're talking about these. But yeah, like I've been trying to say, I've been streaming something that I call a vain journey. Not V-A-I-N as in vanity, but V-A-Y-N-E as in the League of Legends champion. Can Wood get this? Nope. Interesting. Uh, V-A-Y-N-E. So yeah, a vain journey. And the whole thing about it is... Uh, and I've been, I have actually been playing Vayne every morning. Every yeah, every morning I wake up, I do my normal morning routine, and after an after about an hour after waking up, what I do is I'll sit down with a cup of coffee and a scented candle lit, and I'll just play music and I'll just play Vayne, top lane, bot lane, both. And before anybody mentions it, I did not know. I did not. Re I think I said it already. I didn't realize that. Uh, People considered Vein Top toxic when I started playing her up there. But I also don't care. So there's that. Anyway, yeah, I've been doing that lately. Uh, for, for the past month, I have consistently woken up and every morning just streamed, or not streamed, just played Vein Top Lane and Bot Lane in League of Legends with music going, relaxing, having coffee. But the idea for me is not to win the game. I mean, obviously I'm gonna to try to win the game. It wouldn't be fair to my team if I didn't, but the obje that's not the objective. Um, for me, the objective is to practice intentionality as vain. Uh, and I don't mean that strictly in just the League of Legends sense. And intent and intention are mostly the same thing, but those things are different from intentionality. Uh, the difference is subtle but important. Intentionality. Intentionality is the mindset that generates your intentions. And I've been practicing having an intentional intentionality. And again, the subtles, the, the, the differences are subtle, but it matters here. Uh, by playing vain. And I could go into great detail about how that works, but... Um, I'm not going to go any further into that cave, not that way. I can break through that wall, but but yeah. I'm not going to go into great detail how that works. I can discuss it later. I'll probably discuss it some on stream. Uh, but yeah, for a month I've been doing this, and I have to say I like the results. It's been it's been good. I can't say for certain how, how uh, prominent the results are of the intentionality part. I can feel myself growing in that respect as more than just a League of Legends player, as more than just a Vayne player, but as a person. Um, because I'm, I'm practicing intentionality in every part of my life right now. And um, getting up in the morning every day, which is something I haven't done regularly, getting up every day in the morning and doing something like that, practicing League of Legends, practicing as Vayne, there's dirt. Dirt, most useful block. Never forget it. So doing that every single day is part of practicing discipline as well, because I'm also practicing discipline. Um, and the reason I chose Vayne in the short is because she's a very precise champion who you can't just play reactively. You have to know what you're doing. And even in the heat of battle where milliseconds can change the outcome, like fractions of milliseconds can change the outcome in any given fight in League of Legends. As Vayne especially, a glass cannon champion, a ranged champion who is by design uh, short range so that she has to be in the fray, dancing around opponents. Like that. You have to think about what you're doing, watch where you're going, and you have to be intentional about your moves in a fight and not panic. Keep your cool and craft the fight as you want it to go, even in the most hectic engagements, right? Uh, that's a very important skill to be able to learn, and it practices discipline, it practices intentionality, and the better I get at that, the more I train my mind to be able to do that kind of thing. And it's not just in League of Legends where I am practicing this. As I said, I'm practicing, and practicing this kind of thing in all aspects of my life, and I can't say how far I've gone with it. But I can say that I have kept up the routine, which is super important because a routine is essential in one's life. A routine is absolutely essential in one's life if you hope to achieve any kind of measured, reliable progress towards your goals. So in doing this, I'm also practicing having a routine and sticking with it. So I did it for a month or so before starting to stream it. Now I am streaming a vain journey every day in those hours. And I wake up and again, about an hour after I wake up, I start the stream 
and I'll stream for about three or four hours every single day playing Vayne. I mute the microphone when I play, so if you want to... If you're, if you're looking for my uh, for my commentary when I stream, there's not going to be a ton of it during a Vayne journey, but I do talk to chat in between matches. And it's been good. Uh, I've been pleased. You know what? It's got to be day by now out there, right? So, check out this cave. This is a near... This isn't even really a cave on it. Well, I guess it is. But this is a near-surface little cave system that kind of sprawls out in multiple directions. I just picked up something new. Granite. It makes polished granite. Okay. It is day. Could be creepers. As Peppy would say, everybody stay alert. Oh my god, this mountain is absolutely ginormous. Look at that. It separates the whole areas of the land. This is like one province out here, and there's like another one on the other side of that mountain. This is crazy. Also, oh my god, did you see what I was doing in that little cave down there just now? I was knocking out like little bits of stone and granite here and there just to make a way for me to proceed. It's amazing to me because that felt just like Alpha Minecraft. I don't know how many of you are out there who played Alpha Minecraft or how many of you who did play it can't even remember, but the caves back then were not nearly as robust as they are now and the generation was a little bit, you know, alpha. So you had to knock portions of dirt and, and stone out of your way just to get around a lot during Alpha, whereas later iterations of world generation would make it so that caves have their own unique hallways, and yeah, they still sprawled out and splintered off into little separate pathways and offshoots and things like that, but you could still get around very well and very easily. Actually, can I even get to the top of that and then safely climb? Yeah. But yeah, uh, later generations, up until very recently, you know, they were, they were clearly designed. Whereas in Alpha Minecraft, they felt, you know, generated in a not 
fully realized way for cave generation, and that made the caves more unpredictable. That's what that felt like down there, which is kind of really cool. And this snow is going to destroy the quality of the video because of compression. Ooh, baby. Ooh, wow, look at this whole setup, though. All right, this is cool. Oh my god, that massive overhang. And it goes all the way around. I'm getting nerd chills, tasteless. <laughs> Raise your hand in the comments if you, uh, if you know where that's from. And when was the last time he said it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, this is... Oh, this is so cool! Skeleton creeper. I got no armor. I got no shield. This is a hardcore world. Let's get out of here. Whoa, ow! Oh! You'll never catch me, copper! <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? Never catch me. Yeah, see? Ow! Oh, God, there he is! Can't catch me, yeah, see? Can't catch me, yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> Come get me! You can't! I'm too fast for you! I'm too quick for you, dude! You can't get me! You can't get me! Let's build a let's build a hidey hole, man! I've just been wandering around exploring, having a great time. Oh, but some progress has to be made. I need to get myself a little bit of a safety. So we know what's coming. The typical X hidey hole. Oh, by the way, no new one. I'm not gonna say anything about it. No, no, no. Forget it. I got something planned for you guys. Just you know, it'll it'll, it'll take a little bit because you you know me. I tend to, I am working on intentionality and all that good stuff. But you guys know me. Like I'll say I have something in the works or something planned, and then uh, I'm excited to work on it. But then might for like a day, and then I either can't find the time for it or something else catches my interest. Working on that kind of thing. I want to make sure and follow through on the things that I say. But I do have something planned. Uh, to answer more qu I can't give specifics. Shut up. Shut up, X. Shut up, David. Anyway. The vain journey thing on Twitch. I have a link to my Twitch account down below the video description. Uh, if you're interested in watching me stream, I stream every morning for about four hours now. And that's going to be the case. For a while actually i haven't to be honest with you i have not solidified a schedule for it my plan is every day like i have been doing but i have also noticed that those four hours a day i kind of need for other chores and things like that i forgot to put the torch down i have noticed that uh did, did, another torch so i might do it like five days a week but i'm gonna be doing it a lot in other words so if you want to catch my stream link is down below follow down there and let's all have a good fun time bump, bump. and it will be league of legends most likely uh, i am a variety streamer as well as a variety youtuber but right now i want minecraft on my youtube channel maybe uh a dash of barrow trauma and uh, i'm going to slowly begin putting Valheim stuff up too. I love Valheim. Valheim is so amazing. But I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be doing League of Legends on Twitch and Minecraft here primarily. That's 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 what you can expect from me. That's 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 my plan right now. That's what I'll be doing. And I've been pretty good about sticking to it for a while and I'm very very pleased by that fact. I hear rain. Of course I do. Why did I do that? But I meant like it changed sound like I can very clearly hear that behind me and it kind of just made me want to make sure I was safe. Which is why I turned around. Also, have you noticed that I've been playing this session for about 29 minutes? So we're probably approaching the end of a second video off of this session. And all I've really done is mine coal. What is up with the coal generation here? Forget it. I'm done. Done. Bored mining coal already. Here's my little hidey hole. It's still day outside. Let's go get some more wood while it is day. I've got plenty of stone to upgrade to stone tools, but we're going to gather wood out here. There's my home hill. I'm going to leave that tree. Uh, that tree just serves as a good marker for me. I know if I see that one, the home hill is nearby. Okay. 
Nope, this one's too big. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not too big. It's not too big. I'm feeling good. About this playthrough. Oh, and if you're wondering, yeah, my goal is still to get to the Ender Dragon. And yeah, the plan is every time I die, start a new world and do it again. Roguelike Minecraft, baby. That's what we're doing. I also really enjoy this whole you can't make stuff until you've unlocked the recipe thing. That adds a new layer to the game that has never...